Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will talk about these Technifiber TFX1 rackets and why I might be switching to them in the near future. So stay tuned. Joko Djokovic so my record of choice nowadays is this Technifiber XTC T5 XTC 295. It's a 295 gram racket, and this version or this model was released, I believe, in September 2019. So it's a racket that is two and a half years old, and it's a great racket. I like it. And at that time I liked the, this version or this model the most from all the Technifiber rackets that were available. And it's essentially a pure drive copy. So it has quite high stiffness, I believe around 67 or, maybe, or even maybe higher. And it has the almost same shape of the head the same width of the beam also the same let's say design in in terms of the shape of the beam and yeah it's but it's a little bit easier to play with than with bubblelot pure drive and i played with bubblelot pure drive like 15 years or uh, whole my let's say career when i was younger and I like th that these rackets, the pure drive rackets, but now when I'm reaching 40, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to like uh, more, I'm starting to liking more easier rackets with easier swing and even more easier power. And these guys, the Technifiber TFX1s are probably one of the most underestimated rackets from Technifiber. What I like about these rackets, and by the way, I did review these rackets for the Czech store I work for, for the Sport Obchod, and I will post the link below this video in the description, where you, when you click on the link, you get to the review, which will be automatically translated into English, so you can read about these rackets and why I like them too much so let's talk a little bit about them because i didn't have them on this channel i've talked about them on my czech channel but not on this english channel and what's great about these rackets is that they are very powerful but very friendly to maneuver with the maneuverability Guys, my favorite word. Once again, the maneuverability is great. Although the frame is really beefy, it's a 24 millimeter frame. And here I have the 300 gram version and 285 gram version. And guys, the question for you, which of these versions I like more? And the answer will be quite unexpected. I like the 285 gram version more. Why? The reason for that is that it's a pretty light racket for, let's say, intermediate and advanced tennis players and tournament tennis players like I am. But the swing weight for this racket is around 316. And it's great it's literally in the sweet spot of my liking if i have if i play with the 300 gram version the 300 gram version has swing weight of 323 that's even higher than on the current model on the current version of pure drive which has 320 swing weight so Guys, these two rackets are really powerful. You get massive power from these rackets. And 
the reason for that is that the head shape is kind of similar to the head head gravity's tennis rackets it's an egg egg shape and what i like really what i really like about these rackets and the reason why i might be switching to them from these is actually the head shape that gives you much better access to spin a lot a lot better than with the t fight racket so the spin with this racket is outstanding and the power you get from these rackets is also uh, i would say for this range of rackets is kind of unbelievable so if you want really easy power really easy power even better than let's say with the pure drives or maybe on the similar scale go for these rackets you will play really nicely really easily with these uh, and it's for people who who like the full fast swing because with these rackets you can swing really fast and especially with the 285 gram version i'm able to hit all the strokes in front of my body exactly where i want i have no delay in the preparation phase with the 285 gram racket and if you hit it correctly the power from the racket is just amazing uh, the one downside for the lighter version is that it is not that stable as this racket but i actually forgive i actually forgive the stability for the more power and easy control over my stroke so maybe i will add like two three grams in the head to to get to get more stability but i like them in the stock uh in the stock versions so if you don't know anything about the t fight or about the tfx1 rackets these rackets are new they were released last year 2021 and they have two let's say unique technologies they have the isoflex technology which are these special grommets if you look at them they are wider there and thinner here and they have these holes in it so so the grommets are not special in this place but on the outside of the frame and what does these uh, holes in the in the plastic grommets outside of the frame do they tend to move inside the frame they, they kind of flex if you hit the ball the strings they will uh, flex of course and with the strings the grommets flex kind of into the frame and then they go back into the basic into the basic position and that creates more easy energy and of course more pop and more spin so that's what i really like i'm i'm not sure how long will they last maybe they will last not that long as the standard let's say grommets if you compare the standard grommets to these you can see the big difference in the design and in the in the overall shape and the second new technology for these rackets is this is this thing it's called x damp and it was actually used in the lacoste tennis rackets made by technifiber and this x damp dampens the vibration and how does it work so inside the handle there is a 20 gram uh, piece of metal it's it is made from uh i'm not sure it is tungsten or it is lead i believe it is lead. it is lead and it's a 20 gram piece and this piece of lead absorbs the vibration and it it, it is this technology is based on a technology on a famous skyscraper i forgot 
the name but inside on the top of the skyscraper there is also a huge I'm not sure how how many tons it has a huge let's say ball that absorbs the vibration when the earthquake comes so all the energy goes inside the ball and the building can let's say move around the ball and the ball stays on its place so that's interesting technology that is used also in the Lacoste wreckage it was used there for the first time and then Technifiber incorporated the technology also into these frames into the TFX1 wreckage uh, the 300 gram version has balance uh, at 320 millimeters and is the same as for the Babolat Pure Drive and I believe and I'm not sure now if Babolat Pure Drive has 320 or 325 but I believe 320 so I will post it in the description or in the video and the 20 the 285 gram version has balance at 330 millimeters obviously more to the head to compensate the lighter frame both rackets are 16 by 19 and the head size is 645 square centimeters or 100 square inch so yeah i really like these rackets uh, the RA, the stiffness for these rackets is around 71, so it's really high. So guys, uh, the reason why these rackets put so much power into the ball and to the energy is that they are stiff like the pure drive. So when you hit the ball correctly in front of you, the energy is immediate. There is no, let's say, delay. So the energy is transferred to the ball really fast and that's why these rackets generate a really massive energy so well despite the the kind of crazy design with the white and uh, yellow colors uh, it looks like a children's racket at the first sight but actually it's a really <clears throat> great racket for intermediate players who want extra power and there is even a 275 gram version but i didn't test it so if you are wondering what's this so this is just the basic uh, black tape to protect the bumper it was it was sent me by the by the distributor like this and i'm testing these rackets after i reviewed these rackets i'm testing them now just for myself to consider if I switch to them in the future and yeah I'm really planning to, to switch to the to the 285 gram version in the future when it is a little bit uh, more discounted because right now they are they are pretty expensive I believe over 200 euros so I'm I'm waiting when they uh, go down with the with the price at let's say around maybe 140 or, or 130 maybe I'm a chicken fiber guy so I can get a better price of course but the the, the, the normal price is right now too high maybe to 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 buy these records so guys wait for a discount and then consider these records if you want great power massive spin really massive spin due to the wide egg head shape that gives you a really nice access to spin and yeah if you want a, let's say pure drive on steroids go for these wreck it's really easy to swing with and the the feedback from these records is, is quite firm even with the x damp uh, here uh, they maybe will will for some people will be still too stiff so consider that so I'm, I'm even I'm using dampeners even there is dampener I'm using my dampener here to to really compensate all the vibrations that go through this 71 RA stiff 
frame so guys there you have it this was just my first talk about these rackets i will make of course i will make the quality control test and i will make also final review and i will also review this string inside these this 2285 gram racket this is the signum pro uh signum pro polyplasma string 1.28 millimeters and i quite like it so i was afraid that it will be too let's say too stiff but i quite like it and i will probably review it in the future so guys let me know in the comments what do you think about these rackets do you find them interesting did you try them are you planning to try them because i highly recommend that try these if you want that extra power extra spin and really easy swing i'm really surprised that that with this beefy frame 24 millimeters beefy frame the swing is actually really nice really fast and uh yeah i like them so let me know in the comments what do you think about these rackets and of course if you like this video click the thumbs up button if you didn't click the thumbs down button yes you can but i hope you click the thumbs up button it's better for me and for you of course at the end and if you like my channel don't forget to buy me coffee consider it click on the link in the description below this video buy me a coffee i will enjoy it intensively and i will thank you after that so guys thank you for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye